this video we're going to look at some of the more intermediate features and for this one I thought we'd do a quick project which is making a trailer or an advert. Now this is useful if you're making an intro for your YouTube channel or if you're making an advert itself and the way that I like to work when making these shorter films that only last 10, 15, 20 seconds is I like editing to music rather than adding music to my edits. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you by an example. I've got a piece of music from the Free Music Archive. I'll put a name in the description and a link. It's a brilliant piece of music and I'll just play it for you. You can see that's a pretty good piece of music there. It's really nice. It will go really well with the trailer. Now what I've already done is I've chopped the song at around 20 seconds and added in a fade. If you don't know how to do that, go and watch the video on Lightworks and audio of how to get audio in there and how to adjust levels. I've only got two tracks in my movie or in my edit. I've got one video track and one audio track. Now you can see A1 and 2 again. This is a stereo track, so I'm seeing the left and the right of my music track. And for this one, I'm going to be doing a lot of switching off and on tracks. Because again, as you remember, if I pick up a clip and put it down, it will just overwrite my audio. And I don't want to do that today. Now, because I've got such a short amount of time to make this clip, I need to edit to music. Now, what do I mean by that? I said that before. What I mean by that is if we now zoom in, we can see that the music has a beat. Now, where is that beat? Now, if we were to play this music again, and I'll just rewind it to the start, you'll actually be able to see the beats. Now, if you're listening very carefully, you can see that every time these peaks go up and down, you can actually hear the music getting louder and quieter. So let me play that one more time and then you can actually see where the music is. And I'll use my fingers to kind of click the beat. And if you time what I'm doing with what you're seeing, you'll see where the drums and the peaks and the loud bits of music are. So you can see that with my clicking, you can kind of see that I'm, I'm clicking to a beat. Now some music is really easy because you'll hear the beat because there'll be quite a loud drum in there. This music, which is a bit more orchestral, a bit more of with the violins and orchestra instruments, it doesn't really have a drum beat as such. It just has a drum that plays every so often. So what I'm going to do is I'm just very quickly going to edit a movie or a trailer and think of this as a really quick trailer, maybe for a pair of shoes or something like this. So I've gone very sporty here. So I'm going to choose my first clip, which is going to be this guy jogging. Now, I don't really need long clips. I, I really just want to fill up 15 to 20 seconds of movie. And what we'll do is let's just have a quick look at this clip. Yeah, that's pretty good. So he's just running forward. So let's just do a quick in and a quick out. Let's have a look. Now, of course, we're going to do really quick edits here. So we're going to have to throw things in and then kind of move them around and make them shorter. So we're going to go quite quick in this video. And if you're finding yourself a little bit behind or you don't know what I'm doing, go back and watch the rest of the videos in this playlist of the Lightworks Basics 1 and all the other videos I've made and you'll soon catch up. So let's switch off the audio for a second, pick up and put him down there. I think I might actually start the clip when the music starts and you can see where that music starts is right there. So let's have a look. So it's going to start off black. Just get rid of this one. Let's see how much of this movie I didn't grab. So let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually finish that clip just where my mouse is there to that beat there. So what I'm going to do is disable that. I'm just going to move it down to about there. I'm going to be quite exact. So where the red line is is where that next drum beat starts. Let's just listen to that again. And you can see it just goes off right there. So when that drum beats, I want a new clip to come in. What I'm going to do is, might just grab this one over here. So let's just double click that. That's a, it's a really simple clip of someone tying their shoes. Let's just do that in and a quick out. 
let's pick it up and put it down so let's just have a quick look at that with the audio of course and let's do a really quick edit on that one there so I'm going to go to the next drum beat so it's going to go with the sound of course so I'm going to do a really quick cut from those shoes kind of there and I'm going to just throw in my next one which is going to be now I'm just doing this as random so I haven't planned this in advance I'm really just grabbing some clips and going for it let's have a look yeah it's quite a nice clip of people kayaking so let's just do an in and an out now you can hear there's a lot of sound with that clip so I've disabled my audio of course and I've put that in so let's just see where this is going to go I'm now just gonna work visually so every time I see one of these loud peaks over here I'm just gonna kind of edit to that peak there and if it's not right I'll just edit it out and move some stuff around let's put the audio back in and see what's happening here that's quite a quick cut there and that's quite a long clip there so let's just keep putting our clips in I'll see what I've got. I've got a flag over here, I've got a basketballer, I've got a snowboarder, I've got a skateboarder. So I've got quite a few clips. So what I'm going to do is, rather than me going through every single cut I do, what I'll do right now is I'm just going to pause the video. And when I come back, you'll see that I've got all my edits in. So I'm not going to do anything that you haven't done already, but I just don't want to waste your time showing you all the stuff I'm doing. So I'll, I'll be back in just one second. Welcome back. I've been at this for about 20 minutes now and I must say I've had a lot of fun doing this. Now without even showing you the film you might see a pattern in front of you now. Listen to this music and the way it works. What I figured out would be cool is to play two short clips and then a long clip. Two short, long, two short, long and you see I've kind of repeated that pattern. Now by the time I did that three or four times I realized the pattern got quite boring so what I ended up doing was making some of the clips longer trying at all times to keep in time roughly with the music now one now a trap that you don't want to fall into is trying to cut your clips precisely the same length to the beat so if you've got a beat which is doing that and you cut your clips exactly on the beat every single time by the sixth or seventh cut most people watching will kind of switch off their brains because they already know what's going to happen. So if you vary the length of your clips, sometimes you can do it on the beat, sometimes you can do it off the beat. I've done it kind of roughly here and here where they're on the beat but not quite. So I'll play you this clip as it is and note it's 15 seconds long and what we're going to do is throw in a title at the end just to kind of make it more adverty. So here's the advert as I've made it so far. And you can see I'm kind of ending with the uh, slow motion basketball dunk. And you can also see that I've reused some clips now. Of course, I could have just gone and filmed or downloaded a whole bunch of other clips, but I thought it was quite cool to go back and see the same things at slightly different times. Now, to make this advert a little bit more professional looking, we need a title, a slogan, or something to end the trailer so it can't just be a bunch of pictures. So what we'll do is go to the VFX button and we're going to click on the plus and grab a text VFX and if you want to keep something really simple if you just want some text on the screen then grab the one that's called titles and throw it on wherever you want it to go now obviously we've got a huge problem already because as soon as the dunk starts we've just got this word sample text across the whole of that clip which is really not the way we want it first of all let's invent our slogan which is going to be take it to the max exclamation marks like so so that's going to be our slogan let's unfold this vfx out of the movie so that we can now treat it like a separate clip let's go back to edit and what i really want is this title to be at the end of that dunk kind of around there so i'm going to take it there disable all the other tracks and just press c i'm going to pick this up and kind of throw it away enable all of that and you can now see 
that it will come in and there you go so really I want it there now of course I can make it a little bit longer so that it kind of stays there that's kind of cool now let's go and fix the way that that text looks because it really doesn't look good so I'm going to choose a font called Futura which is quite nice for this and I'm going to make it quite big there now I can see that it's got a drop shadow I actually don't need that so I'm going to go to the shadows click on the color and just move the alpha to zero which removes it completely and the color of the font is not doing me any favors so what I'm going to do is kind of take it to the pinkish reddish mark there and what we can now see is that as the sequence plays the guy comes in for the dunk We've got the take it to the max there and then it kind of stays in the black I think we can actually make that a little bit longer so let's just go into the edit I want that just to be a little bit longer like maybe there so let's have a look now it's gonna come in yeah that's kind of what I wanted so let's tidy this up a little bit because although it's looking good we need to just add a few finishing touches let's go back to the VFX what I'm going to do is now click on the plus and I'm going to go back to my mixes and I'm going to throw in a dissolve. What I'm going to do is put that at the end of the dunk. Now the effect of that is that as the guy dunks, it's going to fade that picture out, leaving the text really quite strong. And finally, what I want to do is rather than have the text just appear on the screen like that, I want to use a keyframe. So what is a keyframe? Well, a keyframe in video editing means that you can animate something on the screen. In this case, I want to animate the text. But in reality, in Lightworks, you can animate almost anything. But we'll get into that later. So in this case, what I'm going to do is use my arrow keys to go to the very first frame that we have to take it to the max, which will be roughly... fine-tune that so it's going to be roughly about there and what I'm going to do is where it says size I'm going to click on that stopwatch sign as soon as I do that you can see that there's a little diamond down below and I'm going to just move my slider until the text is at its smallest point and what that should do is animate the text to its maximum now remember I already set the size as the maximum now what I could do is click on the thing again and set the size again and you'll notice that a diamond appears over here as soon as I change a setting so in this case I can fine-tune it and take it all the way you know to the edges of the screen so now when we run this animation he dunks as it fades out the text comes in and takes the whole screen there like so which is quite cool. So that's a video that shows you, number one, how to edit to music, how to get all your clips in, and then also do a little bit of animation on the text that we've got. So if we were to watch the video now, it should look something like this. I think you agree, it's not perfect, but not bad for 25 minutes of work.